uh, of the other code after it. Okay, so if I'm saying if any of these fields are empty, go ahead and give them some errors. So refresh and let's try it. So I'm gonna say username, website name, slash email would be admin at the link slash.com. Okay, first name to my name, my nickname. And you know, then let me let me leave the password plain. Then I'm gonna enter my theater port. That's 20th 11 1989. My address. I'm gonna leave it to know. And then I'm gonna enter my town name. Okay. Then I'm gonna leave this particular thing to know. Uh, I'm gonna leave my post code. Okay. I'm gonna enter it. Now you can see that uh, half of the fields are empty and half are filled. So I'm going to hit register and it's going to uh, give me the error and our username because we have a road out here and our username. So I'm going to change it and I'm going to make it to echo all star fields are required to all star fields are required, right? Okay, I believe that's perfectly fine, and I believe we can also enter our empty dollar count. If this particular thing is not true, then only our code will go out here. So if none of the fields are empty, then it's gonna follow the else if, and else if will validate the email. So I'm gonna say if else if not not would be this particular exclamation sign okay filter war guys this is again uh, HTML built-in function you don't have to worry how they made it or what, what is the code behind it you just need to use it the way it is then dollar email okay and then the name of the function filter Filter validate email. I'm not sure whether it's right or wrong because I haven't used it for a very long time. So what I'm saying is, uh, filter the variable. Okay, which variable you want to filter? You want to filter the email. Which kind of filtration you want? We want the email filtration. Okay, then echo a valid email is required okay so we're gonna test it again refresh and uh, I'm gonna you know fill all the fields now but with wrong email ID so I'm gonna say see first I have got the HTML5 error <clears throat> and it's not letting me go forward because according to HTML5 also is not a valid uh, validated email so what we can do is uh, okay, on the top here I can say text for some time come back refresh so now I can enter my name first name last name uh, some random password some random like you know data for random town okay now I'm gonna hit enter here it says a valid email is required because I have never entered a valid email address. So now let me put a valid email address. Again, some blah 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 blah. Okay. Hit register. Now I didn't get that message because my email was validated. Uh, next thing we can check is for the contact number uh, making sure if they are entering any contact number then only validate it otherwise don't validate it so I want to say else if again guys not uh, sign okay if not empty dollar contact that means if dollar contact has some kind of <coughs> value inside it okay now inside that else if 
I'm going to run an if statement. I'm going to say if dollar is numeric dollar contact or if not is numeric echo enter valid uh, yeah enter valid contact okay so first uh, try it and then I'm gonna explain it to you if this particular you know junk of code seems uh, difficult to you <clears throat> and then I'm gonna refresh and I'm gonna start filling it from the top email Where it says a valid contact number is required, but if you're gonna, you know, enter some numbers up there, then it's gonna work for you. Okay, let me enter. Okay, I'm gonna enter some numbers out here. I'm gonna hit register, and I don't have that particular error message out here because uh, uh, first we are checking. And we are saying is if uh, the contact number is not empty, that means that the person wished to enter their contact number. Then only go ahead and make a check and check whether it is a valid contact number or not. And the way to do this is find whether they are numbers or not. So I used again a PHP function that is is numeric dollar contact. So that's a very simple way to validate the email, the contact number and to make sure all the required fields are not empty and the very last would be our else statement so till this point we are sure that uh, they are filling the form the way we need it so finally we can write a very simple script to insert all the data to our database so what i'm going to do is uh, very first guys we need a connection with the mysql in order to uh, enter anything to a database okay guys I took a break to have water so I was talking about to make a connection with the MySQL database in order to insert anything to a database so that can be done very very easily you, you just need you know two line of codes so out here I would be creating a new file that would be connection.php the reason I'm creating a different file for it, uh, let's say if you want to make 10, 10 connections in your uh, script, you don't have to write it again and again. You can just only include this particular connection file every day. So out here, uh, I would be opening the PHP tags. And then I would be saying is MySQL connect. Okay, this is a MySQL function that will let you connect to the parameters you're going to write out here so the very first parameter is uh, what's your host name so it would be local host every time then the host user if you are on your local machine like uh, on a ramp or XAMPP or LAMP server it would be root always and the password would be null but if you are running it on the remote server then you need to be sure about your username and your password and then I'm going to say our die enter a mysql error that means if you are not able to connect to it uh, by using these credentials then go ahead and at least let us know about it then i would be saying this mysql select a database because without selecting any database we are not sure where we want to uh, you know enter our stuff or where we want to save all the data we are getting so for this particular tutorial i would be saying registration okay or again, if you want, you can run uh, or die MySQL error kind of a situation. Okay, so I'm gonna copy it, and I, I have my PHP admin out here, and these are all the databases I have created till now. From here, I would be creating a new database that would be registration. I'm gonna hit create. So I have my new database ready. It says database registration has been created. If you want, you can check out the PHP code that they executed. See, this was a very simple PHP query in order to create any kind of a database. Okay, up here, 
uh, I would be creating a new table. I would be naming it to users. And uh, let's say fields to 40, okay. The very first field would be an ID. And uh, next, we need the person's username. We need their email. Uh, we need the first name, the last name, uh, password. And uh, apart from password, we need what? Down here. We need their date of birth and the address. So one, the address two, and then we need is the town, county, postcode, their contact number, and if there is something else, I'm gonna add it later. But for now, I only remember these fields. The username would be a varchar. That varchar means they can add any kind of characters. That would be, uh, let's say, uh, numbers, letters, special characters, or whatever keys they have on their keyboard. That the email and the first name would be varchar. The last name would be varchar. Password to varchar. Date of birth to varchar again. Address one. Address two. Contact number. Let's make this one to watch as well. And out here, I would be saying the time they registered with us. Okay. And this would be date time actually. Date time. Okay. And in order, whenever you will create any kind of watch or fields, you need to let the MySQL know how many correctors it would be long. So I would be saying, for username, let it be 100. Email would be 150. The first name. 200, last name 200, password 100, date of birth 250, address can be more, so 200, 200, town would be 150, county say 100, postcode 150 would be much better, at the contact number say 15, time would be nothing. Then for the ID, we need uh, auto increment and a primary key so that it will auto increment every time with a new record. We don't have to do anything for it, and it will be unique every time. So I'm gonna hit save, and if you will see out here, we have our database created. So you know, we have our database created, but one thing I just remember is we are not validating our passwords. So I'm gonna say else if dollar password is not equals to dollar password to very simple way. We are using a not sign and an equals to sign. If they both are not equal, go ahead and let the person know those your passwords are not matching. So go ahead, correct them first. So I'm gonna say echo password does not Match. Okay, and I will be using double codes out 